Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome in. My name's Amanda and this is the Connected Conduit. We're going to do a timeless reading for you, so whenever you find it, you are meant to. Do keep in mind, this reading is general. It's not a one-to-one, -one, which means some messages may resonate with you and others may not, and that's okay. Just pick up what feels good, what confirms your own intuition, and leave the rest for someone else. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I see that you are on stage and everybody in the audience is clapping. Okay, you're being cheered, you're being celebrated, people are applauding you. Now, this could be that you're graduating, you could be in theater, singing, something where you're on the stage and you're receiving an award or recognition for an achievement. I see the word success, success. You did it. You did it. I feel like you were going through it in your life. It was like a slog and you're finally out the other side. Arcturian light codes. Yeah, you made it into the light. You're out of the dark into the light. Evolutionary downloads, recalling power, future thinking. You're receiving a lot of downloads at this time through your crown chakra and they're going into your heart chakra and they're being unlocked in there, okay? And I also see downloads being stored in your heart chakra, almost like a little filing system. And whenever you meditate, you go into this filing system and you discover something new or you unlock what this wisdom or this download and it could be an image, um, inspiration. I don't know. It could be anything, you guys. And then you're using that inspiration or that knowledge that comes through in the downloads in order to better your life, in order to make more money, um, launch a business, go back to school. Um, it could be anything. Write a book. So... You're definitely someone who's creating from the heart space. Star gathering. Stars aligned. Remembering home. Soul family. Your third eye and crown chakra are developing at a rapid pace right now. Very rapid. You're going to be finding like your intuition, your psychic gifts are on fleek. If that's a thing. Fleek? I don't know. <laughs> They're like supercharged. It's a superpower. You're going to be on point, on point. You're coming into contact with your soul tribe as well, or your soul family. You're moving away from having friends who are not meant to be in your life they were not aligned with you these people were not a good influence on you and they were no they just weren't for you I'm getting that song I don't know who sings it but it's it goes I've got friends in low places where the whiskey drowns and the beer chases my blues away and I'll be okay I've got friends in low places so I feel like you're moving away from that. You're moving away from going out, drinking, partying with people. You're done with that phase of your life. You don't want it. It doesn't feel good anymore. It just drains your finances. It takes away from your health. It stops you from creating. It stops you from showing up and being the best version of yourself. And you don't want it. Also, I feel like these were just maybe like party friends, right? But when you actually needed help or support, they didn't show up for you. These were just people who wanted to go out and be silly, okay? 
Stargate heart. Heart chakra opening, unlocking, and generosity. So exactly. Yes, there's definitely something about your heart chakra here. Um, storing those downloads. You are a heart-based person. You want to be of service. You like to help. You are a healer. You're a healer. So you may have been finding actually that you've been getting quite emotional recently. You could be finding that you're just driving to work and then you burst into tears and you're like, what the heck is this? Where is this coming from? Spirit saying that you are releasing old stuff that has been stuck in your heart chakra. So make sure you take the time you need to purge, let it out, um, be kind, gentle, and compassionate with yourself. If anything is coming up, and you don't understand it, you're like, what's going on? Why am I crying? Don't worry about it. You don't have to know what it is or understand it. All you have to do is acknowledge it, forgive it, and release it. I've got friends in low places. Maybe you're someone who likes country. Hathor light codes, light immersion, full system upgrade, power recall. Your visions are becoming really clear. So many of you are receiving these ideas to do stuff and you're you're actually going for it so you're trusting your intuition you're trusting the signs the visions that you're having and then you are taking action towards making it happen towards your dreams so for example say you get a download to change locations all of a sudden you're starting to look at other houses in that area you're calling up realtors blah 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 and you may be, <clears throat> you may have people in your life who are surprised at this sudden change of pace. They're surprised at how confident you seem, but they're also like, they could be saying things like, what are you doing? Like, why are you moving? Or they could be doubting your decisions, doubting your plans, something like this. But you are so sure of yourself. You're so sure of yourself. Yeah, not everybody agrees with what you're doing. Not everybody agrees with where you're going, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what other people think. You know what you know, and that's that, right? You're reclaiming your power. You're not letting people control you or manipulate you. You're very, very aware of certain tactics that I feel people have been using on you. Pleiadian activation, coming together, harmony in the heavens and resolution. You're finding friends that bring peace and harmony to your life. Anything that you've been worrying about or feeling like things were out of balance, it's going to be resolved. If you're looking for a house, you're gonna find one. If your finances have been a bit low, they're gonna increase. If you've been looking for love, you guys are coming together in union. I, I You know what, you are completely changing like your dna cell structure is changing you guys full system upgrade your body may look completely different from how it used to or spirit wants to let you know that your physical appearance is going to be altering like your face may look different your you could naturally drop a whole lot of weight you could start putting on more muscle you could um all of a sudden your hair is growing at a very rapid pace and it's very shiny. Your nails are strong. Your teeth, I don't know, <laughs> are like 
whiter than ever before and they're very like strong enamel. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I am. Um, you could be finding like you have a lot of energy all throughout the day. You don't get tired. two cards came out at once so we've got sacred inner space sacral chakra tenderness and sensuality and angelic frequency angels are here you are safe potent connection yeah your frequency is so high that you literally have to have a new body in order to hold that vibration Okay, so you're still going to look like you, but I just mean you're going to look like you, you're glowing. Your skin's going to look amazing. Um, if you are having digestive issues, those are going to go away. Like your stomach is going to feel great. You know, you're not going to be bloated or things like this, right? Things are just going to work. It's going to click. Everything's going to work really, really well. You're like a fine tuned instrument is what I'm hearing. Your body will be like a fine-tuned instrument. You look amazing. You do. You look amazing. And it, if you feel like you're not there yet, you will. You will be. Not that looks matter, but what I'm saying is your inner light the inner beauty is so strong. Your light is so pure and bright that it's shining outwards. And you can see it. People can see it in your face. You may be finding too. I'm so sorry about the kids, you guys, in the background. It's summer break. It's summer break. Um, but my apologies if it's distracting for you. It's distracting for me, honestly. <laughs> um, you may be finding that you're walking down the street and you're turning heads like nobody's business. Why? It's because you're looking amazing. People are smiling at you saying, good morning. Hi, how are you? And you're like, good. Why is everybody saying hi to me today? Usually everybody looks down at their feet and passes by without acknowledging me. Okay, you're going to be noticing things like that. You're also going to be asked out a lot more. If you're single, you may be finding that you get a lot of romantic offers. But I don't really feel like you're op open to just anybody. Like you're looking for that special someone. So if you don't feel that instant connection, then no, it's a no-go. Halls of Amenti Initiation. This came out like last week. Secrets Revealed, Treasures Uncovered, Initiations. The kiddos are wrestling, so it sounds bad, but they're fine. <laughs> just in case you guys were wondering, like, oh, she just continues on with the reading when her kids are screaming and saying, oh, it's no, they're not, they're fine. They're not hurt. They're totally good. They're very dramatic as well, so. <laughs> okay, Halls of Amenti Initiation. Yeah, this has been an initiation. So you've gone through the dark night of the soul. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't. I've got to tell them to be quiet because they keep throwing me off my train of thought here. Bear with me as I go take care of business.
I'm back. <sighs> My apologies. Okay. I'm gonna pull some tarot. I would cut that out if I could. I would edit it, but I can't on my device. It just doesn't allow that, so, or I just haven't figured out how to do it, so it is what it is. The magician, look at you. So powerful, so magical, a master manifester. I'm telling you, it's like your clairvoyance is so sharp. Your intuition is so sharp that you you're manifesting whatever you want in your life and people are shocked okay because you could have been someone who was like wishy-washy in the past but now it's like you're so sure of who you are and you trust yourself you trust your intuition you trust the messages that you're receiving from the divine and then you're actually taking action on them and making things happen in your life so you could be making like a whole lot of money you could have expanded your business you could have created, you know, amazing works of arts or projects or something like this that has brought in a lot of abundance for you. Not only abundance, but like recognition, okay? People are seeing your success. You may have, <clears throat> I don't know, been living with your parents and then all of a sudden you're in, you know, your dream home within a few months and people are like, how'd you do that? How did you do that? And you're like... I listened to my intuition. I connected to my soul. I reclaimed my power. You're remembering who you are. You're remembering your true power. Ooh, look at you, the Empress, birthing the new. A new business a new home, a new life, a new way of living, a new look, a new body. If you've been wanting to start a family, that could be coming in for you as well. The King of Cups. Ooh, you're manifesting love. You're manifesting a King of Cups. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but they don't have to be. The King of Cups is so nice, like such a wonderful person, so kind and caring, very compassionate. So they would be a really good fit for you because you're a very gentle soul and you need someone who's going to be very gentle to you in return. The Five of Wands, this is your training. You've been in training, okay? You've been going through an initiation and you've passed. Yeah, look, the Hierophant. So you are being celebrated the divine is celebrating you. You may have been fighting with your mother recently and it's it's because you guys don't see eye to eye anymore and you've taken back your power and they don't like it because they used to and I'm sorry for saying this but for some of you like your mom used to really be very like smothering and controlling and you've really had to place good boundaries with them and stand your ground because this could have been someone who was very opinionated and they love to tell you what to do and if you weren't doing what they told you to do they'd make life very difficult for you or they would judge you or things like this and it's it's been a lot of work You've had to really work at that relationship. And I feel like there were times where you wanted to like give up on even having a relationship with your mom because it was so, um, so frustrating. So, so, dra so very draining all the time and it never would seem to get better. It would never change. Okay. That's for some of you, but spirit wants you to know that now that you've reclaimed your power, your mom's starting to see you in a different light and there will be healing. There will be healing here. I'm hearing she'll come around. She'll come around. She'll come around eventually. You hurt her pride and her ego a bit. So her ego is bruised 
and she's just going to have to do some self-reflection and healing and get over it, right? You speak your truth, and that's that. How people respond to your truth is not your problem, right? Yeah, King of Swords. Exactly. The King of Swords is about speaking your truth. Knowing your truth, speaking your truth, and standing in your truth. You, you're someone who's very trustworthy, honorable, clever, very quick-witted. But... <clears throat> I'm really picking up on a frosty connection between you and your mom. And if that's the case and you feel unsettled about it and unhappy about it, spirit wants you to know that things will get better there. Okay. There will be healing. It just might take some time. Seven of cups. Wow. You're channeling information. And having visions. Trust the vision that you are receiving about someone who could be potentially toxic to you. If you've had a dream or if you have a gut feeling about someone and it feels off to you, you need to trust that because Spirit's saying you're right. You're right about that. There is someone around you right now who is a snake and you, you're, you're getting... You're getting the gut feeling to detach from this person, but you're not sure if you should. You're wondering, ah. Because for some of you, this could have, you know what? For some of you, this is a friend that you've had for a long time. But they're one of those friends that are no longer aligned with you. Because... If you keep them around, they're going to drain you. They could even, they could even, I don't know, I'm hearing leech, okay? Like leech off of you, try to just take from you. Lead you down the wrong path. They might try to lead you down the wrong path. They're a bad influence on you. If this person wants to work with you, use caution, okay? If, if you have an old friend and you know that there's something off about the, their energy, listen to your intuition. They may want to go into business with you and that might not be a good idea. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. Ah. Yep, Five of Swords. See, I feel like this person could end up taking from you, whether that is your time, your money, your resources, or your ideas. This is someone who could pretend like, yeah, I want to invent, I want to invent, invest in I almost said invent so maybe you are about to invent something make sure you get like a patent make sure you see a lawyer and like you know get everything sorted out if you feel called to do that because this person could steal your invention they could steal your idea and use it to profit for themselves so you just want to protect your creations you want to protect what you're what you're doing here. They may say that they want to invest in your business, but they don't, or they don't actually have the money to do so. It's like a false promise. Or they say they're going to invest, but they end up pulling out at in the last minute, at the last minute. So you are extremely psychic and clairvoyant. You're going to have an amazing, brilliant idea. 
keep that idea to yourself. And if you are going to talk about your idea, make sure that make sure that I don't know, just get a patent. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's just coming through. Make sure you don't talk to the wrong person about it. All right. So what else? Anything else, spirit? The moon. There's going to be stuff coming up for you that has been buried for a long time in your subconscious. It's, it may feel very uncomfortable, but this stage in your healing journey is needed. Don't be afraid of the feelings, just let them out. Yeah, the strength card. I see you having the strength and determination to really look at certain things that have been holding you back. You're having the strength to face your fears. You're having the strength to allow yourself to feel difficult, immer difficult emotions and let them go and purge and release them. Know that you are safe and protected. The angels have your back. And if you want to communicate with them, um, definitely do that because you are a clear channel. You have new friends coming in, new opportunities coming towards you, but yeah, just watch out for that snake, okay? Um, what, who is the snake? Just give us an energy on that. It's somebody who wants to make a business deal with you. The chariot, they could be a cancer. They may be traveling to see you. They could be at a distance from you and they're coming coming to see you. This person might be quite forceful. Like they have a strong personality. They might be a bit aggressive with their with their like approach and tactics. Not necessarily aggressive, more so like domineering, like somebody who likes to just, it's they're just loud, they're in your face, there's a lot of bravado. They appear to be really confident, but they're not. And this could be someone who wants to move very quickly. Or they might put a lot of pressure on you to move very quickly or make a quick decision. So if that's the case, um, no, definitely not. You don't want to be forced or rushed into making a decision. Okay. Who is the snake? The Ten of Wands. This person has been a pain in your butt. They've held you back for a long time or they've weighed you down. They're burdensome. Okay, their energy is burdensome to you. They've caused a lot of issues and trouble in the past too. And you've forgiven them for a lot of things. But honestly, Spirit's saying, it's wonderful that you're forgiving them, but you don't have to keep taking them back into your life. Like you can forgive someone, but also never see them again. Okay. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles. This person is insecure. They're, they could be struggling financially and they see you as like a golden opportunity to get in on something really great. But the thing is, it's like, that's your idea. This is, this is yours, not theirs. So don't let this person weasel their way in and 
like get like use you or get something from you when they shouldn't because they haven't earned this they don't deserve to have a piece of this whatever this is they don't the star this person's insincere is what i'm hearing and as i look down it's the seven of swords this person is insincere They're not telling you the truth about their agenda. They really do have a hidden agenda here. And I feel that it's to use you. Yeah, it's the five of pentacles. See, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. This is around like your 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 finances, your stability, and there is a potential here. I don't want to scare anybody or anything like that, but Spirit saying there is a potential here that if you went into business with this snake, they could actually end up sabotaging a good thing for you. You may end up losing out on an opportunity, on money, or something like this. An offer. This person is struggling financially and they see you as like their meal ticket or they know that whatever you're about to build or create is going to be very successful and they want in on it, but they have no right because they've done nothing. You, you're the one who's had the idea. You're the one who's done all the work. The divine is giving this download to you so that you can use it for your greatest and highest good and help other people. But this person is looking to manipulate and weasel their way in so they can profit profit from your hard work you've earned this not them okay so that's what spirit wants you to know and i really feel like it's someone it could even be someone in your family right who feels like they have their privilege like they have a right to whatever it is that you're about to get this could be even your father a sibling you know a brother an uncle take it how it resonates or it could be a friend, a friend from back in the day, but you're no longer aligned with this friend. I've got friends in low places, low places. So you're going up. You're going up in vibration and anyone who holds a low vibrational frequency is going to start falling away from your life. However, they may try to weasel their way back in and that's when you need to make sure you're putting down really good boundaries, okay? Because you are manifesting everything you ever wanted and then some. And that's when the people come out of the woodworks too, right? When you start doing well for yourself and people start noticing, you might, you might find like some people try to weasel their way back into your life in order to get something out of it right it's not genuine it's unfortunate but it happens a lot but you'll know you'll know who these people are and you'll know what to do about it okay oh yeah this king of cups you're creating space in your life for this king of cups that's what you're doing right now. So, for example, if you were with someone, but you're breaking up with that person, you're being guided to, to leave that relationship, your heart's no longer in it, you don't want to be in that connection anymore, so you're being guided to leave it, and you do. If you're being guided to buy a house that has three bedrooms, right, for you and your person, and like, the two kids that you're going to have together, you know, your future plans, then that's what you're going to do. Instead of going out and buying a one bedroom house, you're going to go out and buy a three bedroom house because you know that you're going to get married and you're going to have two kids. So you're going to need three bedrooms, right? <laughs> Not that you need three bedrooms. I mean, you could probably make two bedrooms work, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know who you are, you know where you're going, you're having these future visions of your life and you're trusting them and you're making everything happen. So 
Some people are going to love this. They're going to be happy for you and other people are not going to be happy for you. And so use that strong sense of intuition and discernment to see your way through into the hearts of people. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to leave it here. You guys, thank you so much for your love, your time, your support, your energy. Thank you for co-creating this message with me today. I'm sending you all the good vibes. Stay aligned, my friends. Stay aligned, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.